Hello beautiful friend! I am so happy you're here. I have a scrumptious and cozy crochet cowl by Janica Carter to demonstrate for you today called Conaday. This beginner level cowl is inspired by the conical shape of conidae or cone snails. And with a few easy stitches and a couple of colors, you're gonna create your own version of this gorgeous cowl. You will need a US size K crochet hook and two colors, four skeins total of bulky weight yarn. This is our hand dyed buttery bulky yarn, which is a cozy soft yarn made of superwash merino wool. You can download the pattern at expressionfiberarts.com and we're also gonna put the link to the pattern and the yarn in the description box for you. And while you're there on the site, you can go ahead and sign up for email updates and we're gonna send you exclusive coupons, free patterns, and a whole lot more. Now that you've got your yarn, your hook, and the pattern, let's go ahead and dive on in. I'm gonna be working a small version today, so I'm gonna start with a chain 14, but for the real deal, you will start with chain 59. For row one, you're gonna go ahead and skip that very first chain and work a single crochet into each of the remaining chains. I've got 13 stitches, you're gonna have 58. We're gonna start row two by chaining two loosely and that does count as a double crochet and you're gonna go ahead and turn and you're gonna skip this very first stitch and you're gonna double crochet into the back loop only of the second stitch. And go ahead and work two more double crochets into the next two stitches, remembering to work into the back loop only. And that's gonna give us that cool ribbed effect. So since that first chain two counted as a double crochet, we should have one, two, three, four. Now you're gonna work a half double crochet into the next four stitches. Again, working only into that back loop, which we will do all the way across. There's two, three, let's do one more, and four. Now to finish off, you're gonna have 50 remaining stitches, so you'll do 50, I'm just gonna do five, single crochets into the back loop. One, two, three, and I'm gonna show you something cool here to finish up the row. Four, now on your final stitch, you're gonna to switch to your new color. So start your single crochet like normal, but you're not gonna finish it with that color. We're actually gonna finish it with our new color. So grab your new color and go ahead and pull up and you can see you've finished off that row perfectly and you're set up to work the next row with your new color. For row three, you're gonna go ahead and chain one and turn and you're gonna start by working 50 single crochets into the back loop and I'm just gonna work five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna work four half double crochets into the next four stitches, continuing to work into the back loops only. There's two, three, and four. Then you're gonna finish off your row with four double crochets, again into the back loops only two, three, and the last one goes into that top of that chain two over there, four. And you can see you're already starting to get a little cone shape going. Next up, it's super easy to complete your cowl. You'll just work rows two and three 39 more times, changing colors every two rows. Let me work another row and then I'll show you how easy it is to change colors. We're gonna go ahead and do what we did before. Start your final single crochet, but don't finish it with that color. Drop this color and pick up your other color, simply pulling it behind like so, 
and keep it loose you don't want it super tight and go ahead and finish off your single crochet with that color and you just continue pulling your color up the side like that and you're good to go to work the next row in the white and you'll repeat that all the way along your cowl as you continue to change colors every two rows Once you've repeated those two rows around and you are ready to join your cowl, you can use whatever joining method you prefer. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the mattress stitch because I find it very clean and simple and nearly invisible. You're going to start by pulling up a long tail and cutting that on your current working yarn. Next, you're going to thread your long tail onto a darning needle. You can go ahead and thread that through the final loop. Now to join the edges and start doing the mattress stitch, you're going to put your darning needle up through one leg of the stitch on the other side and then go up through one leg of the stitch on the other side and you're just going to repeat that all the way up. It's sort of like lacing your shoes. Super easy. I love this method so much and I'm going to show you how fun it is to cinch it up. Here's our little tail we've woven through and when you're ready you can go ahead and give it a tug and cinch it up. And it creates a nearly invisible look. And there you have it, my friend, a quick and snuggly cowl to keep you cozy all winter. Remember to download the pattern at expressionfiberarts.com and go out and have a most delightful day. Take a few moments today to pause and look at all the beauty and the wonder around you. It truly is a beautiful world and we have so much to be grateful for. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to see you very soon with another tutorial. Ta-ta for now, sweet friend. Mwah.